Oh, hello everyone. Uh, Parky wanted to say Happy New Year and so did some of his friends as well. Uh, we've got King Louis and Wibsy and lots of Parky's friends are, are here just to say Happy New Year and uh, we are praying that 2021 is going to be great for you. Now you'll notice that Parky and I are both wearing our football scarves. Parky supports Bradford City. He's kind of partly named after one of Bradford City's best football managers, uh, someone called uh, Phil Parkinson, or Parky for short, who got the team to the League Cup final and got them promoted to the dizzy heights of League One. Quite an achievement. Well, some of you will support football teams, uh, perhaps West Bromwich Albion or Aston Villa or Birmingham City or one of the big teams like Liverpool or Manchester United. Uh, some of you might even support teams like Ipswich Town and even Leeds United will forgive you that one today. It can be quite a roller coaster ride supporting a football team. The start of the season begins with hope. You're really excited. You think that your team might be able to win every game and that your striker will score lots of goals. And sometimes it works out like that, especially if you support Liverpool. Uh, our team, Bradford City, we thought this year was going to be great. One of our best players from the past came back as the manager and we were really excited about that, weren't we, Parky? We thought it was going to be a great season and we'd go rocketing up the league. But instead, it's been a struggle, a disappointment. We can talk about hope. A bit like when we talk about our football teams or about other things like how the school year is going to go, about how our favourite pop group are going to do. And we can think about hope as being, I, I kind of cross my fingers and I, I hope it's going to go really well, that the team will do well, that school will be OK, that life will be good. But we don't really know. And just like in 2020, we can start the year hoping it's going to be good. And it can turn out really bad, really difficult, really disappointing. The Bible talks about hope in a very different way. The Bible says that we put our trust in Jesus and he gives us hope that is certain. We know that there's going to be difficult times and problems and suffering. We know that we can't avoid things like uh, bad health or a crisis like the virus. But we know that Jesus has promised that one day he is going to come back and take us to live with him. And we know that he will keep that promise. So we don't have to worry about the future. Because we know that Jesus is going to keep his promise and come back for us one day. Oh, the football team might leave us disappointed. But Jesus never will. And that gives us hope as we go into 2021. So we're going to get Sarah to come and join us. And... Uh, Hello, Sarah. Hello. She's coming around the back there, striding in. And she is going hello. to... Hello. You're not really in the picture there, Sarah. You have to come uh, properly in. There she here is. I am. There we go. Yeah. Um, and she's going to pray for us. Mm. And it's big changes, aren't there? We're going to be making some changes, aren't we, Sarah? What's happening to us? Yeah, we're going to uh, be changing what we're doing, going to be changing uh, your job and things like that. Yes. Yeah, so we're, we're going to be leaving the chapel um, Tonight, actually, mm. be our last service tonight. How do you feel about that? I think it's it's uh, quite difficult and quite scary, isn't it? Change can be quite scary. Um, when you don't know what's going to happen, it can be uh, a bit upsetting. Yeah. And uh, some of the children watching, 
they may be seeing big changes happening as well and it might be a bit frightening. Mm. Yeah, there's lots happening at the moment. If you can't go to school when you thought you'd be going back next week or with the virus and other things that are happening. So it is quite difficult. Yeah. But that is why we can pray because we know that Jesus will be with us and we have the hope we've been talking about. Yeah. So do you want to pray for us now? Yeah, let's pray together. Parker, are you going to come in and pray? There we go. Lord God, we thank you that you love us and that you look after us. Thank you that we're part of your family if we know you. And that means that if we're scared or if things are changing or if we don't know what's going to happen, we know that you never change and that whatever happens, you will always love us. Thank you, Lord, for this great promise. Amen. Amen. Well, you have a, a safe and happy new year. Mm -hmm. and keep hoping and looking forward to how Jesus is going to be with you next year. Yeah. I think it's probably time to say goodbye, isn't it? So uh, say goodbye to Parky. Bye, Bye. everyone. Bye, yeah, Parky. Parky. And uh, we can say goodbye to some of his other friends as well. <laughs> so Wibsy and Drayton. Yeah. And uh, it's uh, Louis. Bar oh, Barkley Bear. Oh, Barkley Bear, our newest edition. Yeah. So bye bye, everybody. Bye bye. Take care. Happy New Year. Happy New Year.